Hello everyone. We are out in the rain talking about weathering my... with you. Uh-huh. <laughs> so weathering with you is the 2019 film by Makoto Shinkai, who everyone will remember as the guy behind your name, five centimeters per second, Garden of Words and a couple others that I can't think of off the top of my head. We've been waiting. We've been waiting two weeks for some rain. It's been. That, that was it. That's the gag. We're out in the rain. Yep. We're, we're filming Weathering With You. This yep. is all, this is the only reason. Anyway, so what did you think of Weathering With You? You know, this, this, I don't know how this is going to go over because I haven't looked at any other reviews. I think I liked it more than your name. Oh. <gasps> No, I liked it. It's kind of a distillation of what Makoto Shinkai does. There are a couple of things that I wasn't super crazy about, but overall, I think it was a better movie than Your Name. I don't know, I can't decide if it'll have wider appeal or less wide appeal than Your Name did. How about you? What did you think? I definitely liked it more than Your Name. Yeah. I don't care if anybody cares. <laughs> I, I think... I liked your name. Okay, here's the thing. So we saw your name in theaters. Yeah. And I really liked it when we saw it. And then we watched it again, and I was like, oh, that was it? I don't know. Yes, like, no, that's how I felt too. When we went back to it. But for some reason, I feel like weathering with you, when we go back to it, I'm going to like it. That's fair. Like, even more. Like, yeah. I'm gonna be like, oh, look at that. Why are people out in the rain? I don't know. People are supposed to hate the rain. Uh, cable company guy is wearing a cowboy hat in his cable company truck. Huh. And he just, he just gave me a very sultry look. The entire film is not dependent on one plot twist. In yeah. fact, a lot, I feel like a lot of weathering with you, they put the, like, I guess like the contrivance or the plot twist, they put it in the beginning of the movie so that the rest of the movie, it's just like, no, like, we were serious. This is the movie. Yeah, yeah. Instead of it being a big build-up to be like, oh, is that actually what's happening? Yeah. And then at the end being like, oh, it was all along. That was the movie. <laughs> Instead, in the first, like, 20 minutes or so, it's like, this is it. This is the movie. I think my only, I can't think of, like, many problems I really had with it other than we definitely, when we, when we started watching it, we were both like, all right. <sighs> Yeah. Is this going to be just another montage movie? Yes. Because, like, your name comes with a lot of montages. So, in, in the bonus material, there is some stuff with the director talking about how the music in the film by the rock group Radwimps is, like, intrinsic to the movie, just like it was with your name, mm -hmm. where he was designing a lot of the scenes with those songs that they had written for him in mind. Mm -hmm. But I gotta say, I think this kind of, not compounded, this, this drove home for me. I'm not super crazy about big emotional scenes uh, happening with vocal music. It's, it's just a stylistic thing. I'm sure some people love it. I'm sure some people, it's like, they are indifferent to it's it. the thing that they love about these movies. But for me, it's just kind of like... <laughs> the dog poop. I will say, after we watched the bonus material and saw how they translated it and then actually listened mm -hmm. to the lyric, yep. it's not what it says. No. And for me, that's kind of like... Translation work is completely subjective. And so you're not going to get the same people saying the same thing every time. Right. But... Like, you, you, have, you ask five different people to translate something, and they're all five going to give you something different. Uh -huh. Speaking of that, do you want to talk about the special features at all? So there's an interview with Radwimps, uh -huh. and they discuss, like, how the music was, like, literally made for the movie. Yeah. So that was really cool. There was a brief interview with the two lead actors, the Japanese lead actors. Oh yeah, that was cute. And as usual with these uh, Shout Factory releases, there are a bunch of other extras included. Oh um, yeah. Once again, let's put that list on screen, just like the last time yeah. we did one of these. There's no way we're going to remember all that. No. Well, what do you think? Should people go see it? Yeah, I think 
if you are a fan of anime or if you're a fan of Makoto Shinkai, you probably already saw it yeah, when it was in theaters. I was say, you probably already saw this. I would say the extras in this case uh, make it worth it if you've already seen the movie. The, the extras add a lot to like the story. Mm -hmm. Not the story of the movie, but just like the making of aspect of the movie. If you're a fan of animation in general, definitely check it out. We didn't realize until we saw one of the special features that actually on both this and your name, uh, Makoto Shinkai and his team had hired a lot of ex-Studio Ghibli workers when the when Studio Ghibli closed for like the fifth time a couple years back. And that went a long way to explain how some these are some of his prettiest movies, like even mm -hmm. even prettier arguably than some of his earlier stuff like Garden of Words. So I would say definitely if you're a fan of the animes, the Japanese animes, check it out. I agree. I think if you like a good love story, yeah. you're gonna like this, of course. That's kind of how these Makoto Shinkai movies work, but Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is really cute. And I totally recommend if you all want to see some good anime, pretty anime, you should check it out. Yeah, and it's available right now, starting today. Yeah, today. 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 September 15th, I think. I don't know what day it is anymore. <laughs> this year has confused me. <laughs> uh, it's available now. What Blue is life? What is real? I don't even know. Blu-ray, DVD, digital. Check it out. Let us know in the comments below what you think. And what do all of you, what's your favorite Makoto Shinkai movie? Because he's got a couple of them at this point. And we're walking in the middle of the road. We are. We should, that. we should scoot over. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>